What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing on this beautiful Friday morning? It's like summer here in New York. Sun is up. Look at that. Down here by the Water Bay Park, New York. Look at this. It's literally like a summer day. 55 degrees. Bright sunshine, blue skies. Day 200 of the journey. 200. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty wild. 200 days ago, I decided to start riding every day. And we got over 2,000 miles in. Um, a lot of time invested in this. And uh, feeling good. Feeling good about it. So, we're down here by the Water Bay Park. It's one of my favorite places to go on a ride, aside from Long Beach, which that I probably should have did today for 200, but that's a long ride. My first appointment of the day is 10 a.m., so it gives me some time to uh, relax a little bit, relax a little bit. Uh, got into bed this morning, and uh, I got one of the trucks at work for sale, one of the vans, and uh, a, uh, I had someone coming to look at it at 7 a.m., so uh, my buddy Carmen over at the office wound up showing it to him, wound up selling it. Uh, it was less than an hour, one, know your worth. My dad wanted to sell the van for 3900 and I looked up and I said, hey, it's worth more than that. So I was going to put it up in the 5000 range. I said, let me put it up at 4950 I had about 50 people that wanted to buy this truck, sold it full price this morning. Picked up an extra 1000 bucks on that truck just by knowing the worth. Um, had 200,000 miles on it. It's a beat up old work van, but they're in short supply and decent vans. Uh, hold their value these days. So, a little lesson there and knowing, knowing your worth. But um, the real lesson of the day comes from uh, Ryan Stuman this morning. It just kind of made sense. Um, he talked about momentum, momentum in your lives. So with day 200 of the journey today, 200 days, riding my bike at least 10 miles a day, um, we are here on a sunshine day. Uh, enjoying the freedom and the exercise. Um, all because I started the day after Memorial Day, I started riding, I started building momentum. And once you get momentum going, it becomes routine, becomes uh, just something you do, becomes a habit. Um, and it's just something that becomes normal in your life. So now normally I get up and I ride my bike 10 miles a day. Now, every time I think to myself that, I should be doing more than I'm a slacker. I have a friend in my life that reminds me, he's like, you idiot, you ride your bike 10 miles a day. That's not normal. And it kind of is a nice kickback that uh, they tell me that, uh, you know, stop beating yourself up. Keep doing crazy things. And I don't know, I just always feel like I could be doing more. But uh, so momentum starts just getting out of bed, getting out of bed in the morning, taking your head off the pillow, starting your day. Um, yeah, tired, yeah, stuff hurts, body hurts, we're getting older. Um, but until you get out of bed, until you make that decision to start, until you start the motion, once you get in motion, it happens. You know, when you get out of bed, you get in the shower, you do your morning routine, and you start your habit. But it can't start until you start the momentum, you start that motion, and start building momentum. And then from there, it keeps going. Um, once you start moving, it always, always makes you feel better. Think about days when you're sick, days when you had the flu or whatever, and you feel like crap in the morning and everything hurts. And then you wake up and you get in the shower and you put some hot water on you and you brush your teeth and you just start moving and you just start the momentum going and you feel better. You always do. You think about every time you're sick, every time you start moving, every time you get the momentum going, you feel better. Um, it's not as bad as it feels when you're, stuck laying in bed so think about all the things in your life think about all the things you want to do think about all the things you need to do and just start just start get the momentum going um in a real estate transaction um there may be a, a deal going together that has some issues and a lot of people are afraid to move forward until they get through the issues and i always say let's get this thing going let's get the momentum building because once the momentum's going, once the paperwork's signed, once the bank's involved, 
um, things start to sort themselves out. Uh, if there's a building department issue, now they're under the gun. If you don't sign the paperwork because you're waiting for a building department issue to get straightened out, it can take months. But when you're under the gun and everyone knows that it's holding up a closing, all of a sudden uh, things seem to happen faster uh, because there's momentum. Um, people start to move faster when there's momentum. Uh, but if you never start, if you never get the deal in motion, if you never get the contracts out, you never get the contract signed, um, the deal will never happen. It'll just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and fall apart. So it's so important uh, to build the momentum on a real estate deal. Once we have an offer, we get that offer accepted. We get the uh, pre-approval in place. I call the lender, make sure the pre-approval is valid. We do all, all the vetting that we need to do to make sure it's a qualified buyer. Uh, we get the attorneys involved. We get the contracts out, we get contracts signed. And once we're in contract, now that deal is gonna happen. Now, if something comes through uh, in the process, uh, now we have momentum going and we can sort out the problems and we can make things happen. Uh, I know we, I make it look easy, but uh, there's always issues in real estate, especially these days. Building apartment issues are really big right now. Um, just about every house I'm involved in right now is winding up with some kind of building apartment issue that's holding up the closing. Uh, that's got mortgage rate locks expiring, that's got contracts expiring. So um, there's a little real estate tip for you. Don't lock in your rate until you know the thing is good to go because uh, it's becoming a problem. People are locking in rates thinking they're going to close. They don't talk to me and something pops up with the building department and nothing happens fast with building departments. It's really, really a problem these days, but that's a topic for another day. But if you build the momentum, the deal starts going. So think about all things in your life. Get moving, start the momentum, start start working on whatever it is. And once you start, it'll just start moving. It gets easier day by day. 200 days today of the 365 day journey. We got a lot of momentum going here. Um, I get a dilemma though. I'm starting to think about what's gonna happen on day 365. Do I keep going? Do we go day 366 or do we take a break and start again? Um, or do we just start becoming a couch potato? We gotta think about that one. So anyway. Comment below if you have an idea. Do I keep going after 365? I got to start thinking about that. It's coming quick. 165 days left. And I have to decide if I'm going to keep going more than 365 or if I'm going to give myself a break. Uh, comment below what you think on that. But we're going to jump in prayers right now. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God. Help us to keep building momentum in our lives. Help us to get unstuck. Help us to start moving. Help us to help all those around us get moving. Um, help us all to live our best lives. Help us to get out and enjoy sunshine days like this. Help us to forget our stress and our pain and uh, learn to look at the positive and be grateful. Amen. All right. So message of the day, get the momentum going. Just get started. It'll get easier once you start. The hardest thing in life is starting. And uh, make sure you get outside today. 55 degrees and sunny. It is absolutely gorgeous out. Look at this day. Sunshine day over here. Bay Park, New York. East Rockaway. Ocean Avenue all the way down to the end. And you'll find this little oasis down here. Love it down here. It's a really beautiful spot. It's about five miles from the house. So I do five miles here, five miles back. We got our 10 miles in for the day. And uh, all right, everyone. Have a great day. Put your head in a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.